NXL A-Level Maths Statistics, October 2021, Question 6. The discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution. So when x is a, probability of x equaling x is log to the base 36a. For b, the probability is log base 36b. And for c, the probability is log base 36c. Where a, b and c are distinct integers, with c bigger than b, bigger than a, and all the probabilities are greater than zero. Part A, we need to find the values of A, B and C, making sure to show our working clearly. So, with our discrete random variable, we've got our probabilities there, and we know that all the probabilities in the table have to add together to make one, because one of them has to happen, so together they've got to be certain. But if we're adding together logs of the same base, using our rules of logarithms, these can come together as a multiple within the log. So we've now got log base 36 ABC is equal to one. But if we think about what logs mean, all this is is we're saying that 36 to the power of one would give us ABC. So ABC must be equal to 36. So this is just using our logarithms and what a logarithm means. So we've got that our three unknowns multiplied together make 36. Now we also know that all the probabilities are greater than zero. So for example, if log base 36a is larger than zero, that means a itself must be larger than one. Because if a was one, then the probability would be zero. And if a is larger than one, b and c must also be larger than one. So we know that they multiply together to make 36. So that's the same as two squared times three squared, if we just find the prime factors there. So we need to rearrange this into three different numbers, all larger than one, all whole numbers. Well, the only way to do that is if we rearrange into two times three times six. So we've got that a is equal to two, b is equal to three, and c is equal to six. The independent random variables x1 and x2 each have the same distribution as x. So for part b, we need to find the probability that x1 equals x2. So if we think of two extra independent random variables, our x1 and x2, their distributions are going to look the same as the table we've just been given. So the probability of a in x1 is also going to be log base 36.2, for b log 36.3 and so on. So if we want the probability of x1 equaling x2, that means we need the probability that the a from x1 is equal to the a from x2, the b's are the same and the c's are the same, and we're going to add those probabilities together because it's either both a's are equal, both b's are equal, both c's are equal. Well, the probability that the a's are going to be equal is the probability of a from one of the distributions times by the probability of a from the other. So that's our log base 36, 2 squared. And the same goes for the b and the c. We're going to take their individual probabilities and square them. Now, putting this into the calculator, this gives us an answer of 0.3814. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.